Okay, so what we're gonna do today is we are going to shoot these with some slow-mo and we're going to show the difference in gun movement based on the different operating systems. This one right here has a H buffer and a tub flat wire, no adjustable gas block. This one has an A5H2, 12 and a half inch carbine, no adjustable gas block system. This one is a 16 inch MIDI. So that one's a MIDI too. This one's a 16 inch MIDI adjustable gas block with a, a JP low mass and a silent captured spring. These all have a purpose in life. Neither of these is correct or more correct than the other. They are just set up differently to run under different situations. So we're gonna be using some Lancer Skittle mags and we're gonna use Norma 223. So we're gonna start off with the A5H2 system. This has an A5H2 and a Sprinko Green. It's a carbine length 12 and a half inch uh, ballistic advantage government profile barrel. So it's a little bit over gassed and that's why it's kind of nice for this. It's really made to just run any type of ammo and be as reliable as possible, except for super anemic shit like Tula. So we're gonna shoot this. I'm gonna slow it down so that you can see how much the gun is moving as I'm pulling doubles, okay? So I'm holding onto the gun tight, but it's gonna move more than the other ones. I've done this thousands of times, so I know it's moving more. I can physically see it in the actual optic itself, but seeing it in slow-mo really helps you understand what's going on. So you can feel it's moving differently. You'll see it here. When I slow this down and put it together, you'll see it. So this is a 14 and a half inch MIDI with no adjustable gas block with an H buffer and a tub flat wire, standard carbine length, okay? This is what I shoot competitively with a lot. This is one of my favorite guns. This is my baby. I run this thing really well. But you're gonna see it's got a little bit less movement than the last one but it'll still have more than the competition rig. This is set up to be a fairly soft shooting gun, but still have a lot of reliability built into the system. You can see it's still moving a little bit. So this is a 16 inch with an adjustable gas block and it has a JP low mass and a JP silent captured spring. So you could use the unrivaled in this too, as long as you're using a low mass and then you're using an acceptable system internally here to not jump your reciprocating mass up. This one's gonna sit really flat, okay? We also do some work to the muzzle device on these. This one in particular, he wanted a single pop a hole, so we put a single pop a hole in the top. A lot of these we just plug and we use the two brakes. It times it really well, it sets them nice and flat. So you can see it's still moving a little bit, but it's way less. I ain't gonna lie, the 16 inch with the low mass in it that just sits there is so much fun to shoot. This is stupid fun. just sits there. Your dot doesn't go up or down at all. You get a little bit of lateral, just a tiny little bit. 